Good morning, everyone. As I was praying this morning, I just felt the urgency in my spirit to release this word over you today. I felt like the Lord was saying to me that the time for that pressing and the crushing, you know, that is that you've been going through and, and I ministered about this uh, two weeks ago and where the Lord was saying that through the pressing, through the crushing, He's bringing forth the new wine and it's the time now for the new wine that will come upon His children, the new wine for those who are ready to receive what He's about to do and I also saw that as we were in the presence of God, he, we were pressing into Him because He was saying, you know, that He is relentless, He won't stop pursuing us and and, and in his pursuit of us and with us pursuing him, it's like we're giving 100%, he's giving 100%, and there's this huge collision that is taking place. Just the the, the collision of, of faith versus faith, you know, it's like two magnetic forces, two positive forces. When they start attracting to one another, they just cling together, you know, and I... And I remember I was specifically using the um, example about how we should be so connected to God's word and how his word will forever be on our lips, you know, and that we should cling to him, hold on to him, be steadfast in our faith toward him, not let going, you know, because He's he says that he's going to take away and, and, and we're not going to bow down to fear, anxiety and worry and doubt anymore because he says, in Isaiah 26 verse 3 that we should stay fixed on him the word stayed um, I used the word to to um, bring out the meaning of, of, of stay it means to be fixed to brace to lodge in an immovable position Yeah, so the immovable position because we, we have to lean on God's uh, reality of His kingdom, of the reality of God's kingdom and the way that He does things and not rely on your own human intellect. Don't rely on man's wisdom. Get your wisdom from God and lean on Him. So stay fixed on Him, you know, and, and when that collision happened, I saw how the two forces comes together and we stay fixed on Him and He's fixated on us to, to, to ensure that the blessing that he has for us will come upon us and this is why he's been realigning us he's been bringing you into your position of strength so you can receive what he's pouring out in this new season so the only time that you be can become unfixed again is when you start worrying about the things of the past when you start taking your eyes off the promise when you start taking your eyes off of him so that's when you become unfixed from what he has for you you know because negative and positive will repel one another so um, um, it cannot be attracted by a positive. So in the same way, in that nature, God is drawing to us and he says he's drawing you to him in the same way he's pursuing us. He's drawing him. I just sense that he's pulling people by his spirit, by the power of his Holy Spirit. You may feel a nudging in your spirit right now. You may say, God, this is for me. God, this is my season. This is my time. And someone, someone may be saying, oh God, but I've been so oppressed and I've been so depressed and the enemy's done this and that but God is saying hey don't allow him to do it don't give him the power over you knowing who you are in Christ don't let that fear consume you so just pray today that God will make your heart right that you will remove all the things that has been cluttered up in your heart that has been polluting your heart that has been stopping you from pursuing God in everything that he has for you church i just want to say to you this morning that this lesson that we need to learn today god is saying to you he's removing that heaviness the weight the burdens of the past no longer will we walk around with his heavy bags man he says unpack that bag get rid of those demonic oppressions those negative words get rid of the things that people have been saying to you and about you just move away run away like i said last week in the message on sunday run away from people who are walking against and contrary to the word of God because God is releasing people of power this is the season where his prophets and apostles and the fivefold ministers will move with greater authority because their passion is being fueled by the purposes that God has called them to be so God I just release your word over your people I release your people father God into the place where you have called them into be alignment father God to receive that abundance 
abundance, to receive that overflow of your provision, to receive the overflow, God, of your word, to receive the overflow, God, of your power that will operate in their lives, Lord. We need your power. We need your presence, Father God. We cannot do anything without you, Father, because, Lord, you made us the head and not the tail. So, God, I just thank you, Father, that you open doors for your people, God, that no man can open. For those who are pursuing God for a new job, the Lord is saying this is your time. You've got to get up, show up, and just be there because you've got to be divinely aligned, be in the right place at the right time to receive the right thing that you've been trusting God for. Don't hesitate. Don't try and negotiate. God is fighting for us. He will put the words in your mouth to speak because God says this is the sign. Oh, yes, Lord. I hear him say this is the season for new voices, the season of new words. Your vocabulary is going to change. You're no longer going to say things that's going to bind you. You will say things that will liberate you because the word of God is deep down inside of you. And I speak today that you'll be awakened, that you will step out of your physical body, that the spirit man will step out of the physical body that limits you, that you will move in the spiritual realm and move into the things that God has called you to do without limitation, without fear, but moving in power and moving in the authority that God has placed upon you. So saints, I just want to tell you today that if God is for us, who can be against us? Move in that strength, move in the power, move in the identity, knowing who you are in Christ and whose you are. So I thank you, God, for this word today, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that even in these early hours, Lord, that you are speaking to your children, Father God, that they are being lifted up, oh God, and pulled out, God, and drawn by your Spirit, Father, as they are just releasing, God, what they've been doing, Father God, the the flesh, the arm of the flesh, Lord, as they release it to you this morning, God. I thank you, Lord, that you supernaturally intervene, interrupt their interruptions today, Father God, that you will have your way, Father, and not their way, Father God. Let them bow to your will and and rebuke their will Father God. Let them put their will aside Father God to pursue what you have for them so that we can all walk oh God that your children can all walk in the fullness of the glory of the Lord that is being poured out upon your children today Father. I thank you Lord for the new wine that you're releasing God. The new wine Father God that is bringing freedom. The new wine God that is bringing carrying your anointing God. The new wine Father God that will take them not just from gathering information but that they will be the ones who will lead in the transformation for the season, Father. So God, I just thank you that we speak in God today to people of power, people of authority, Father God, and people of confidence. Your word says in Hebrews 10, 35, that the confidence, do not throw away your confidence. And if those who do not shrink back in fear, because those who do is because they don't know who their God is. No shrinking back in fear. Move in the confidence of God's word. May the Lord bless you. This is Terry Honey speaking to you today and I want to tell you that the Lord loves you and his plan for you is to prosper and to be in good health in Jesus name. Amen and amen. I love you. Have a great day. Go and like our Woman of Substance page, Woman of Substance SA and Victory Praise Chapel. Like the pages. We're going to be posting some more prophetic words and insights for you. Amen. Word inspires me to live uprightly, and your presence makes me give every part I have, and this love I know.
是。